Rock Hits Y102, and I am very happy to have a special guest on the phone with me right now. He'll be in town tomorrow night at the Reading Eagle Theater at the Sovereign Center. It is Meatloaf. How you doing, my friend? I'm doing very well, thank you. And you? Uh, doing great, doing great. Just looking forward to you uh, being in town tomorrow night. Is it going to be cold? Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, why, why do we have to have winter? I know, I know. With the eternal summer, wouldn't that be great? Yeah, winter sucks. Yeah. <laughs> Well, you know, lots going on, of course. Just last month, he released In Search of Paradise on DVD, and uh, up until this video, not many people knew the real meatloaf. What prompted you to show your fans this side of you on the road? I'm still trying to figure that out. <laughs> uh, wait, nobody would ever done it before, and so I just let them do it. I mean, and uh, and also... There was an agreement that they were going to shoot, but it didn't necessarily mean it was going to come out. <laughs> oh. But you know what? It is a good side. People get to see, you know, what it's like to be on the road and, and how grueling. Yeah, but I, I've, you know what I did since that? I lost about 30, over 30 pounds because I, I looked like I was going to die all the time. Oh. I'll tell you what. Now, i got to be honest, I'm a big fan of Rock in a Hard Place. I watch it all the time on DirecTV, and I just watched it uh, the other night it was on. It was uh, Toto and uh, Flock of Seagulls, and you'll look great. I mean, oh. You... oh, you did watch it. Oh, yeah. it already started. You're yeah. right. It started yeah. on the 21st. Yeah, it was It was fantastic, and it was, it was good seeing you back on there again. Well, you've said that you're an actor first, then a singer second. And uh, no doubt, no one can deny you've had an amazing film and TV career from all the way back to Rocky Horror and uh, Wayne's World, Fight Club, one of my favorite movies, Urban Decay. Also, you got the show on DirecTV, like I said, Rock in a Hard Place, which is really, really cool because it's bands uh, that play for charities. And uh, how did you get involved with that? They just came and asked me. And they said, well, we don't know if you're going to have enough energy for the show. Oh. And I went, oh, okay, fine. <laughs> but you I said, have you ever, you ever seen anything I've done? Yeah, really. I mean, obviously they don't know Meatloaf, you know? No, they didn't. Well, you know, did you get that offer yet to be on EastEnders? No, I didn't. Oh. No, I wanted to be What's-Her-Name's boyfriend. They didn't ask me. Uh, they need to get on the ball and ask you, you know? We're on with Meatloaf, of course. Meatloaf coming to town tomorrow night at the Reading Eagle Theater at the Sovereign Center. I got to say, you're back out touring and working uh, with Patty Russo, at least for the European part of the tour. Will she be joining you here in Reading? Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. That is so awesome. Oh, yeah. We just played down in Florida last weekend, and we the shows went fantastic. And, uh, yeah, she's back. And we're doing an, uh, another record. We've got two duets on that record. Oh, very, very cool. And, uh, you know, I'm going to get in tons of trouble if I don't ask you to do the next thing. My sister Liza is a lieutenant in the Army. She's serving at West Point. She's going to miss your show here in Reading, but she's been a fan forever. And i got to ask you to say hello to Liza. Well, hello, Liza. <laughs> Liza has Stand been up straight, Liza. <laughs> up straight. Yeah, yeah, she's a lieutenant. I don't know how she got up to that level, but uh, she's been a huge Meatloaf fan forever. What can the fans expect at tomorrow night's show? Wait, if you've seen a Meatloaf show, you know you expect a lot of energy. It always varies. It's not, you know, it goes from total being real rock to just being stupid. <laughs> <laughs> But you know what? You have fun. Yeah, we have fun. And just, you know, silly clothes, silly things. And and the greatest rock and roll band in the world. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. I know I'm I'm speaking close to uh, to Jersey there, but um, that's the way it goes. Yeah, they, they are truly, truly, your band is fantastic. No, and... I've analyzed it to death, uh, player by player right. in bands and going, okay, all right, let's look at drummers. No, mine's better. Okay, now let's go to this band. No, mine's better. <laughs> no, mine's better. No, okay, they're better. Uh, guitar player. No, I got a better guitar player. No, no. So I weigh it like that, you know. Very. It's cool. like not, there's no, there's not a better band overall than than my band. And Patty's in there, and CC, and 
I could just sit and listen to the band myself. Wow. But, of course, you've got the vocals. You've got the vocals. And, you know, it's, it's going to be, if, if you've never seen a Meatloaf show, folks, you need to go out. And uh, I can't remember. And they're the, not short. <laughs> yeah. You, you've got so many songs to do. I mean. Oh, I can't. Hey, forget it. We'd be there for 18 days. <laughs> But it would be well worth it. And, folks, you know, we still have that special going on, and we're only doing it just for our listeners. Buy one ticket, get one free for tomorrow night, Reading Eagle Theater at the Sovereign Center. Meatloaf coming to town, and it's going to be such a great show. Anything you want to say to our listeners this morning? Yeah, if you're not there, you're wrong. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I appreciate you taking a couple of minutes out this morning, me, love. Really, really, truly appreciate that, and so do our listeners. And uh, we will see you tomorrow night at the Reading Eagle Theater at the Sovereign Center. Big, big show. Oh, thanks very much. Have fun, guys. Keep rocking.